everybody, Jim here with your daily dose of Japanese gaming goodness. It is the import game of the day, and today's game is Go Go Akman for the Super Famicom. This is a 1994 release that was developed and published by Ban Presto, and by taking one look at the character designs, it's obvious that it's based on a short lived manga series created by legendary manga artist. Akira Toriyama, most known for creating Dragon Ball. So it's no wonder that the title character Akamon basically looks like a demonic version of Kid Trunks. This game is a pretty run-of-the-mill action platformer, but it's a very well-made one that I think holds up to some of the classics on the console. You run, jump, and attack enemies while collecting souls, picking up power-ups, and taking on some very amusing boss characters, even though you can see that Akamon has a sword slung on his back. His standard attack is actually a punch, and the sword is only accessible by picking up a sword icon. And you can also pick up guns, bladed boomerangs, and screen-clearing super bombs, though in the sequels, the sword is used as your basic attack. You'll also notice that you're constantly followed by a little red devil carrying a bottle, and he serves as your soul collector. Every enemy vanquished leaves behind a soul which he snatches up, and for every 100 souls you collect, you get an extra life. Overall, this is a very fun action platformer that has some tight controls and even throws in a couple of scrolling stages to mix things up a bit. It's admittedly a pretty easy game and shouldn't take too long to finish, but it's still a very enjoyable playthrough. On top of that, the art style is awesome, and this is a very good looking game with some colorful visuals and large, detailed character sprites, as well as an awesome soundtrack that features upbeat and playful music that matches perfectly with the subject matter. All things considered, if you're a fan of SNES platformers, the GoGo Akuman series is one you definitely need to play. It's great.